Hi, John Dobus from Forbes. We are here live at the San Francisco Money Show. Next to me is Janet Brown. Janet's the uh, editor of No Load Fund X. That's been going strong since like what? 76. 76. Can you believe it? Before President me. Ford, Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I've I've known Janet now for about 15 or more years, and her style. Well, you can don't, don't let me put words in your mouth, but you you go with the flow. You go with what works, right? We see the markets change. Right. Everybody sees that markets change, but so we have a very disciplined way of following the changes, being opportunistic to take advantage right. of leadership as it comes up our ranks. So it's. So it's a systematic method of basically identifying what's working. Right. No forecasting. We don't need to forecast. We identify what's working. Stay with it. Right. So uh, you don't want to get shaken out of something that is working just because you think something else is coming on strong. You need confirmation. But right now, you know, we got the U.S. The U.S. has been going strong for about eight years now, right? Yeah. But we've seen internationals come back right, finally. strongly in the last six months, actually. So is that is that a trend that is worth following from your point of view, or is that you know the blip historically or? the international domestic rotations have lasted four and a half years on average. Okay. So I think it's worth paying attention to. Right now our top ranks are fairly evenly split still, though, between domestic U.S. large cap growth and internationals. Okay. In the inter in the aggressive categories we got a lot of single country ETFs right. we mix right you know the ETFs well, things like and Spain and Germany France well, all those or not, Korea oh, Italy wow. um, we've got some speculative single country friends in the most aggressive classes and of course we recommend small positions right there. right yeah, yeah you don't go all in on one thing no. so you do ETFs and you also do no load Funds. Right, mix them right together. We don't care if funds are active, passive, ETFs, or funds. It's all based on the bottom line net return. Right. Uh, anything going on with the commodities markets? I know oil has been in the dumps, but some of the harder commodities have seen a little well, bit of strength lately. Energy is still in the dumps yeah. from our system. We have a smoothing effect, so we're not trying to get every little blip in the market. We look at one, three, six, and 12 months, smooth it out. So we get the larger trends and participate in the right. trends that last a while. So, so how about growth and value? It's been it's really been a big time growth market, right? It's been a growth right? market. It's so, been a growth market. There are a few value funds in there, like Oakmark International, Dodge and Cox. It's really interesting right. because you know my new thing is SRI, Sustainable Responsible Investing, and since both Morningstar, Sustainalytics, and MSCI now give ESG ratings for funds, we can include funds and in some of the value managers like Oakmark. Or right. and Cucks actually rate really highly because they're going for excellent management and undervalued. Now you've just been doing that for a few months, but no, I've been no? doing it for over um, 20 uh, but, years. Oh, you? No, no. I mean the, the SRI stuff. Yeah, Get yeah, out of here, really? Yeah, no, I did not know that. Years. No. So is there an new? edge for it, or I mean? Oh yeah. What's new is we just started a 40 act fund last March. Okay. SRI FX. And yeah, there is an edge. It's actually the best. Because best I always thought, you know, if you if you funds. get like a an addictive product that people have to buy, or <laughs> or, or, or weapons makers. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you do well, true. but so that's what you're saying true. that other things uh, do even better than those? Well, or? I think it's really great for investors to know that they can do well and do, do good. good. All right. So it's possible. Well, Tesla would be one, right? Tesla would be one. There are lots of them. I mean, there are 2,000 academic studies showing a correlation between excellent management and good performance. What's not to like about that? So you like foreigners who have a social <laughs> conscience. Yeah, All right. got it. <laughs>